Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Life in Bunker. On the last episode, we started this little, uh, hmm, horrible bunker by the looks of it. There's trash everywhere. There are people just wandering around slacking, not doing anything because they probably need a sofa to relax. Yeah, I probably should have done this sooner and I didn't. So we're going to drop those two things down right there. And we're going to hope that someone will actually come build them because those are going to be important things. The extra cycle is going to get them a little bit of exercise. It'll keep them in better shape. And uh, you just need to finish. Uh, yeah, you're stretching, good. Uh, continue building that for me, please. Thank you very much. That's going to help people get a little bit better shape, which should help their health out. And then the sofa is going to let people relax. They need that. This has been a horrible colony. This bunker is not going well by any stretch of the imagination. We have no cooks and people are going to starve to death. There you go, you need to be a cook. How is our incubator going? Okay, so we have three embryos going right now. And how is our refinery going? Not well. We need to make some more resources here. I didn't realize that had finished. And let's go ahead and queue those up. Wow, we really need to get more resources, which means we should probably continue digging in that general direction. So let's go ahead and dig that way. And uh, it looks like I cannot go that way, so let's do that. That'll work. We're just gonna keep digging over there because we need to get more minerals so we can grab some more. This is going to help out putting that couch down and that exercise bike. It'll just make everyone's lives a little better, a little less terrible, because that's really what it is right now. This place is just terrible. Not enough food, not enough water, not enough anything. You know what? We started to do this on the last episode and we did not. I think because we probably need more materials. Let's put a shower pod down. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and put it in here. That's fine. We'll put a shower pod right there and we're going to put a toilet cabin right there and right there. And theoretically, even though they're facing kind of funky directions, potentially, I, I think they'll be okay. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Uh, something is broken down. One of the engineers will take care of that. I'm not worried. Those are going to get water just fine. So let's go ahead and connect another pipe right here for power. There we go. Or for water, rather. Go ahead and queue that up. And if we go back to our main level here, those just need water. I think the shower, if I recall correctly, needs power as well. So we'll just go ahead and run a power cable to it. It's not a big deal if it does not. There we go. I think that'll be sufficient. And do you guys, who who's who's the builder on this crew? Because you're not doing much. There you are. I Ooh, you are in terrible health too. So the sooner you finish that, the better. Because um, I don't want you dying on me. I guess I didn't need power, but that's okay. There we go. People are going to do a little better now because they're going to be able to exercise and shower and pee. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's kind of critical. All right, we have a lot of stuff going on here. Let's slow it down. What do we have? Uh, someone cut her fingers, and that was that constructed, and we have mole men again, which probably was over here because that's uh, likely the case. Let's go ahead and place some floors. We have a bunch of open floors, and they, they are problematic, so... Ooh, two resources for metal, huh? Two for concrete... And one for standard. Hmm. I would like some more metal over here because I think we need to place another, I don't know, another uh, vegetable patch or something along those lines. So we'll just go ahead and fill all of that in. At least what we can for right now. There we go. And one more. And someone will get around to that. How are we doing? We don't really have much for food. That's why I want to throw another vegetable patch down. That's going to be kind of needed. What are, what happened? Where did our farmer go? Um, why, why aren't people farming? Why are you doing other stuff? That's not allowed right now. We're going to need more bodies. So let's incubate a few more people. Problem is, as we add more bodies, then we need more food. So it's just kind of this vicious cycle of... You do one thing, but you still need something else. All right, what are you doing? Are you eating? You're working. 
Okay. Or right, what are you? What are you? I don't know. Hillary, you're slacking. What is your job? You are an engineer, so you're actually walking around and fixing stuff. That's good. Actually, that's that's fine. You keep doing that. We only have one one janitor right now, so that's going slowly. And we only have one builder, so that is also going slowly. Let's go ahead and check those off. Man, if they would get things done over here, we'd be able to kind of take care of some stuff. I mean, I get it. They're moving as quickly as they can because I'm asking them to do a lot. But, you know, it's all right. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. We'll queue that one up. We probably need to take... Oh, uh, man. Hmm, I can't really take anyone off of anything. I want more builders, but we don't have any more builders. We don't really have anyone else that I can do that with right now. I want to leave the engineers as engineers because they're going to kind of take care of stuff. They're going to make sure things don't break down too much. Uh, let's go ahead and give that a slightly higher service priority. This is going to get attention a little sooner rather than waiting until the last moment. Those are kind of big deals right there. Let's put you up to number five and water pump. Let's put you up to number five. Yeah, we're going to need more water. That takes 10. So as soon as we put down another vegetable patch, we're done. We are at our limit. So I had the builder over there destroying walls. Oh, man. We do need another pump, though. But we can't have two pumps on the same system. So... Uh-oh. What is that? What happened? Ah, oh, man. Did we lose another... Yeah, we lost a water pipe now. Someone fix the water pipe. Please, Where, wherever it's broken, I guess it's good now, because that looks fine. Someone fixed it right away. Good! Someone was on the ball. I was trying to take a look here at life support, and I wanted to read the description. It doesn't say that it needs, that it can't be on the same network, but I think it, I think the game said something about that when uh, I was playing in the tutorial. This requires a concrete floor. I kind of feel like this is a terrible layout for everything. So let's just, let's do that. We're going to destroy that floor. <laughs> and then uh, let's go back down here and see where we at with this, with this guy. It needs to produce some more. So let's produce, yep, we have a snot outbreak. So let's produce a couple hundred more. Uh, let's go ahead and put that up to a thousand. It looks like it's producing based on building materials and not on resources, not on ores, which is what I thought was the case originally. So now that I understand how that works, let's go to production. We're going to do a mining machine. We'll put that down there. And then we should probably do something like this. We're going to destroy that and that. And I have my reasons for why we're doing this. What we're going to do, as soon as the janitor here fills that hole, okay, and then someone needs to, ah, oh, crud, our fridge has broken. That's not good. We're almost out of food. We're actually going to have everyone starving to death in a, in a short moment here, which is really quite terrible. Man, we need another vegetable patch. So let's go ahead and put that down right there. Yep, I know, we're getting there. We are getting there, sort of. Power cable, this is going to be powered because I think that's going to act as a node. Yes. Well, it says nod, but I think it means node. Oh, crud, we need more waste containers. Oh, we need research. Pronto. Because, oh man, this is terrible. This is terrible. Oh, we're so going to lose everything. Uh, where is our builder constructor guy? Where are you? You need to finish doing things quickly, my friend. Very, very quickly. Here, let's go ahead and connect a power cable. You don't need power. You do need water. So let's connect water cable. Water pipe, rather. Water! Run the water pipe all the way over there. Because we need it. Quickly. I yeah, know everyone's dying. They're all starving. I'm working on it. Residents need a shower pod. They have one. It's there. Trust me, it's there. It just 
It's there. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. We might end up taking this guy. Hi, cat. We might take that one off of the main water pipe system. And if I'm ever able to... Here, let's go ahead and do it now. Let's queue up floor, concrete. One, two, three, four. If I'm ever able to get that built. All right, what's going on here? No one has built that yet. I don't know where our builder is. Okay, you can be a janitor, so you can now be a builder. Go over to building. Nope, building. There we go. And Liesel, why don't you go be a builder too? And we still have, yep. I know, everyone's dying. It's a tragedy, and it is. Uh, you, all right. These guys are slowly retiring, so we're going to be having problems here. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, see, they keep retiring, and now that they have retired, I just, I want to get rid of them. <laughs> is that terrible? I mean, they're they're just going to drain all the resources here at this point. That's all that's going to happen. We don't have enough food. We don't have enough anything, really. Production, life support. Let's get another water pump. Yeah. Not enough building materials. Ah, crud. Yeah, see, this is where it gets to be really bad here, and we need we need a research table. So you know what? The heck with this. Let's do... Uh, what are you under? No, you're under... Residential Zone Research Station. We need a research station. Uh, it's going to take 200 resources to do this. But we need it. Oh, do we even have a scientist? We have Camilla and... Paranor. Both of them can be scientists, so we can actually do this. Here, let's drop a re let's drop that research table down there. Someone's going to build that. Oh man, this is this is rough. Camilla, you are no longer a janitor. You've been promoted to researcher. So we need to get power to that guy. So let's go ahead and run some power to it. Cat, you are making this very difficult to play. You have no idea. Or maybe you do, and that's why you're doing that. I don't know. You are a cat after all. All right. Someone run some power to that bad boy. Quickly. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because we need some research points pronto. All right. Camilla, where are you? Report to research duty. Ah, crud. The generator broke. Ah, someone fixed the reactor. Where is it? Fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Quickly. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do we not have an engineer? Oh, crud. We don't have an engineer. Uh, Liesel, you are now an engineer because... <laughs> ah, crud. Oh, good. You can you can work now. Good. Oh, man. And we apparently have mole men like crazy. I can't see anything when my cat gets in the way. Oh, boy. I have all these open floors. That's that's a big problem, and it really, truly, it is. That is a major concern. All right, we haven't lost the embryos. That's good. And uh, Camilla, you are now researching. Good. Your absolute life satisfaction is going down. How does a sofa break? Well, I, I well, never mind. I know how a sofa breaks, but someone will take care of it. Let's see. What do we have going on now? So, Hisako, you need to be a builder. And, wow, that's pretty much... Oh, crud, we don't have anyone who's capable of being a farmer. Yep, they're all gonna die, because no one can farm. That's pretty exciting. That's pretty awesome. These are just going to sit here waiting to be cultivated, and nothing is going to happen because no one can farm. Awesome! And we have run out of trash storage. Yeah. Well, since we can, let's just go ahead and go into the research screen. Because why not? Uh, residential zone. Those blueprint or so the bits would be nice. We can. Uh, we don't have enough for garbage recycler. We don't really have enough for fertilizer. We don't really have enough for anything just yet. Now. Everyone's going to die. You're all dying. Oh, wow. 
chicken pox and then cut herself with a razor and with scissors. That sounds like she didn't want to live anymore. Ah, goodbye, Paranur. We hardly knew you. And things are breaking again, and we're running out of water, and all sorts of good stuff is going on. I think our water pump has hit its maximum. Pretty much has. There we go. Well, what did we lose when Paranor died? I don't even know. Bob is retired, so he's not going to do anything. Well, at least everyone is still alive, even though they're all starving. That's, that's something, I guess. We need to do something about this garbage, so let's just go ahead and research. Because, I don't know, what's it matter at this point? We'll research that. What happens now? I, I don't know what happens. I guess we're researching, so... 10% researched. Okay, so we need some time to do that. That makes sense. I figured it should take some time. How was this guy going? It's crunching out some resources. Let's see how the research is going. Oh, no. I don't understand. Well, what did that do? Is that getting rid of garbage now? I don't know. I don't know what's happening with that. I guess it's not doing anything. Okay, so if I go into my building and we go to life support, no storage, waste container. Huh. It's not doing anything and I don't know if there's something I'm supposed to do with it. I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and put some more floors down. We're going to be cheap because we have limited resources. We're going to put these guys down just to close up the gaps. And then we never did get around to that. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll put a door. Well, I would say we would put it right there, but we can't because there's too much garbage in the way. It's okay. So someone will build that floor. And then we're going to put a waste container over here. I guess that can be built on anything. That's kind of handy. Well, let's just go ahead and build that right there then. That'll be fine. And theoretically, someone will put it there and then we can actually have our janitors continue to work. Ah, yeah, I know. Fridge is empty. That's kind of a problem because no one can actually cultivate. And we have the snots again. Snots! Wow. I don't understand how everyone is still alive. I truly don't. I'm baffled. They should all be dead by my estimation. I've done my best to kill all of them. So why are they not dead? Not that I'm complaining, don't get me wrong. I just don't understand how it is they haven't died yet. They should all be starving. I thought they should have starved to death long ago. What are you guys doing? You're playing patty cake? I don't know, whatever. Ah, uh, let's incubate some more because we don't have any food, why not? Hmm, I wonder. No, I don't think you can turn to cannibalism in this game. That's kind of a shame. Because, um, kind of think we need to <laughs> at this point. Uh, Joe and Shira, you're going to be a little busy here. As soon as someone decides to build that. Uh, someone build that? I guess we have to keep killing mole men. You're going to build that so that our janitors can go to work now? There we go. Janitors, go to work. Go to work, my friends. Go to work. We're almost at the point where we can dump some more research points into the garbage waste collection. I'm going to do that because I'm not understanding what's happening just yet. So as soon as we hit 75, we're going to have to wait for Camilla to run back over there and research again. Wow, we have actually lasted quite a few cycles at this point. 13 of them. If you go up here, that's what tells you that. 13 cycles. Hmm. I wonder if we could actually make it till 50. I don't think so. Not this time around. I don't think there is any chance of that happening whatsoever. Janitors, I know you have a lot of work to do. Get rid of that one. Perfect. Because then we can go ahead and put a door in place here. Come on, vacuuming that up. Good. If we can put a door in there, then we can stop worrying about the mole men popping up and at least getting into this place. Not to say that they won't still pop up and be a problem. They will. They'll continue to be a problem, but at least they'll stop getting inside and uh, maybe everyone will live a little bit longer. We still don't have anyone who can do anything related to food and it's harvesting. 
we're kind of stuck here. We're just kind of stuck unless Anton, and Anton might be retired at this point. Uh, you're a little kid, Anton, and you just, did you just die? Maybe you just turned into an adult. Oh, look at that. And just as everyone else retires, wow, and everyone is dying. Well, you guys can cultivate. Wow, I think we are officially just about dead here. We are just about dead. We have lost pretty much everyone to starvation. These guys aren't going to be able to cook. So I don't know if they can just eat raw food. I don't know if that's an ability that people have in this game. Could not tell you. We have some new bodies for all the good that's going to do. Let's queue up some more. <laughs> oh, man. I have no idea if I actually learned anything in this. In terms of making a useful colony that can survive. I might not have. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we're just going to leave it running at full blast. Oh, what's broken now? Uh, fridge is empty. Need a shower pod. Yada, yada, yada. Let's get rid of that. Okay, do we have someone who can be an engineer? Nope. We don't have anyone who's qualified to be an engineer. Theoretically, we're going to have food in the fridge. Theoretically. Maybe? I don't know. Ah, oh, man. Look at that. It's only two adults and a bunch of children, and they are slowly dying. They're about to starve, and there's not going to be anyone to feed these kids. Although it looks like the kids don't need to eat, which is convenient. No, nope, we lost one. Oihana's gone. Anton, you're next. What? What? You should try and cultivate some food before you die. That would be a good idea. Yeah, you're slacking. You shouldn't slack. You should just work. You really should just work. But you should kind of stick to one of them and not bounce around between the two. That, um... Oh, look at that. We got some... We just... I see some crops in it now. Look at that. Why don't, why don't you go work on that one? That one's actually coming along better than that one is. Ah, uh -huh. Anton, you're going to die. You're all going to die. The water pump has died. We don't have an engineer. We only have three kids who aren't capable of doing anything other than walking around and being drains on the resources. Oh, look at that. Without any water and power. <laughs> the oxygen generators, the purifiers are crashing. And everyone is going to asphyxiate in just a moment. That's going to be pretty awesome. I was not predicting that would be the way they would all die. That's pretty good. Eh, you know what, here? Come on inside. Why not? Molman, here, let me open the door for you. That'll that'll help you out. Come on. Walk through. No, no, no. Don't go that way. Ah, oh, dang it. I should have closed that one first. Come back in. Come back inside, Molman. Come on. There you go. Good, Molman. And now, um, come say hi to little Alvaro over here. Come say hi. Come say hi. Yeah. None of these are working, and yet we still have oxygen. I guess the kids don't actually take any resources. Although one of them died. Yep. I know. Low amount of oxygen. Come here. Mole man. Come here. Come pay the Spina a visit. That way we can end this officially, and I can hang my head in shame that I could not run a colony to save anyone's life. What? What? Oh, you're now an adult. Oh, look at that. Go be a builder and an engineer. Not that you can actually do anything about anything because, um, you know, this is pretty much done. If you get the water pump running, theoretically, we can incubate again. And if not, I don't know. Well, I suspect we're going to be starting a new one on the next episode. And this one, uh, I'm going to keep going until everyone actually dies. I'm not going to stop right now, because um, that seems silly. And I mean, we got a mole man running around here anyway, so theoretically he's going to cause trouble for someone at some point, you'd hope. Yeah, I don't know. Alvaro and Despina. Despina? Despina? I don't know. They are our last remaining colonists, and I think we'll have to start a new one on the next episode. 
but we'll take care of that one at that time. So don't forget to thumbs up, thumbs down. Do consider subscribing if you have not already. And let me know if you'd like to see more of this game, what you're thinking about it. I'm enjoying it. So I'm going to keep playing it. And with any luck, we'll actually do something that is a little better than this as soon as everyone dies and we start a new one. But I will catch you on another episode. So until then, thanks for watching. Come on, guys. Why don't you die already? See you later.